as I said in another video, it appears to me that Burma Stavern is being advised to take step aside money and allow Deontay Wilder to fight somebody else. Perhaps it will be Luis Ortiz. But the spanner in the works here is the fact that Luis Ortiz has got options. He can either fight Joshua or he can fight Wilder. Now, if I was advising Luis Ortiz, I would advise him to fight Joshua and not Wilder. And here's why. Most people believe that the Wilder fight is a more winnable fight for Luis Ortiz. I personally am not sure which is the more winnable fight. Team Ortiz have actually come out recently and said they think Joshua is more, win a, a more of a winnable fight than Wilder because Wilder is so awkward. I'm not sure in terms of the style matchups, but I certainly don't believe that Deontay Wilder is a cakewalk for Luis Ortiz. I was talking to somebody today online about the Ortiz Wilder fight, and they said, well, Gerald Washington was outboxing Wilder. So I think Luis Ortiz could outbox him. Well, Gerald Washington is six foot six. Luis Ortiz is closer to six three. I don't think Ortiz has got the height or the foot speed to be able to outbox Deontay Wilder. Wilder is very athletic. He's very quick on his feet for a man of that height. He's 6'7". He'll be a hell of a lot taller than Luis Ortiz. I don't see Ortiz outboxing Wilder. If Ortiz beats Wilder, he'll be getting close to him and hurting him and even knocking him out or just applying pressure over 12 rounds and taking a decision that way. But in terms of outboxing him, I'd be very surprised if that happened. I can't see it. I can't see. I think he's too slow-footed and uh, too short to be able to outbox Wilder. I could be wrong, but that's just the way I see it. And I do not see Deontay Wilder as an easy fight for Luis Ortiz. So if I was advising Luis Ortiz, I'd say take the Joshua fight. Why? Because the Joshua fight is more of a win-win situation. As an advisor to a fighter, you have to think about what happens and what position will the fighter be in if he loses. Now, the fighter can't think like that so much because he's got a winner's mentality. He believes he can beat everybody. But his advisors around him have to be thinking about contingency plans. They have to be thinking about, you know, what happens if he loses. So if Luis Ortiz fights Joshua, first of all, he's the mandatory challenger. So he gets a set split of the purse money. Let's say for the sake of argument is 20% or 25%. Let's say the pot of money for the Joshua fight is, I don't know, 20 million. All right. I'm not saying it's going to be that. I'm just pulling figures out, out of thin air here. So let's say it's 20 million. That means Luis Ortiz would get a guaranteed 5 million for fighting Anthony Joshua because he's mandatory challenger. This is not like when you're a voluntary. And if he fought Wilder, it would be a voluntary. So he's got to take whatever money Wilder wants to give him. And I don't think Wilder would be giving him 25%. <laughs> so, uh, and the, the Wilder fight's not going to generate anywhere near as much as the Joshua fight would anyway. The pot wouldn't be as big. So against Joshua, he gets a guaranteed percentage. On top of that, he's going to get step-aside money for allowing Joshua to fight Pulev. Step-aside money is quite often around the same amount as the actual fight purse that you're going to get. So potentially he could be getting another 5 million on top of his 5 million. And I'm talking about hypothetical numbers here. But he could be getting 5 million plus another 5 million, 10 million for fighting Joshua. Plus Eddie Hearn said that he can fight on the undercard of Joshua Pulev. So that's going to be another load of money. Okay, so that's just from the financial point of view. He's going to get way more fighting Anthony Joshua than he, he would get fighting Deontay Wilder in Alabama where he's going to get a couple hundred grand. Secondly, if he was to beat Joshua, he would get way, way, way more praise and way more exposure than he would get for beating Deontay Wilder. Wilder can walk down the, uh, walk down the street in pretty much every city in America and not be recognized for the most part. Wilder is not a worldwide star. He's not even a, a national star in his own country. There are probably more people in America that recognize Anthony Joshua 
then reckon as Deontay Wilder. Certainly in other parts of the world that would be true. So if he beats Joshua, he blows up Luis Ortiz. And he gets massive props because Joshua is seen, rightly or wrongly, as a more legitimate champion than Deontay Wilder at this stage by most boxing fans. So beating Joshua, he gets loads of credit, earns loads of money, and gets loads of exposure. If he loses to Joshua, as long as he puts up a good fight and don't get blown out, then his profile is still going to be raised by losing to Joshua. Let's say he does better than Dylan White. You know, hits Joshua with some good shots, maybe rocks him, but eventually gets beaten on points or taken out late. He'll still get fights off the back of that. His market value will be raised. People will then say, okay, now we want to see him. We really want to see him fight Wilder because he gave Joshua so much trouble. Now we really want to see him fight Parker because we know he's going to bring it. And the exposure he would get from the Joshua fight, he, he'd be introduced to so many new fans who would know his name and know what he's all about. And those fans could put pressure on the other champions to face him. Just the way, in a similar way to how Dylan White has become a uh, well-known figure in boxing in his own right because of the fact that he fought Anthony Joshua. Something similar could happen to Luis Ortiz if he were, even if he were to lose to Joshua. If he was to beat Deontay Wilder, how much credit would Luis Ortiz really get from the wider public? How much recognition would he get? Nowhere near as much as he would get from beating Joshua, for one. For two, what if he lost to Deontay Wilder? What would the implications be for Ortiz if he lost to Wilder? You pretty much throw his career on the scrap heap. Because people don't, again, rightly or wrongly, the majority of boxing fans don't view Wilder as a legitimate champion. So you've just lost to a, a guy who's not even seen as a legitimate champion. You're damn near 40 years old, probably older than that, really. The fight was fairly low profile. And to top it all off, you only earned a couple hundred grand for the fight. So, you know, losing to Wilder is going to be way, way worse for Luis Ortiz than losing to Joshua. Losing to Joshua is almost like a win-win situation for him because he's going to get paid a massive amount of money, especially compared to the person he's, he's going to earn more signing a contract to fight Joshua in early 2018 in basically one or two fights, if he you know fights on the undercard of Joshua Pulev, he's going to earn more in those two fights than he's earned in his entire career previously combined. You can't turn that kind of opportunity down. If I was his advisor, I'd be telling him, you must be nuts if you're going to go fight Deontay Wilder now. No, you need to go fight Joshua. <laughs> That's what you need to do. It's a risk either way. But fighting Joshua... You know, yeah, you could lose, but you're going to earn a shitload of money. And as long as you put up a good fight, people, the crowd will demand that you get to fight the other heavyweight champions. You know, or maybe get a shot at Joshua again in the future. So those are my thoughts. Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Maybe you completely disagree and that's okay. As long as we keep it respectful. So let me know how you feel. Don't forget to click the notification bell below this video. It should be next to the subscribe button. If you haven't clicked it already on a previous video, click it on this video. You'll receive alerts for all my future uploads. <coughs> Excuse me. And also, make sure you uh, check out these four other videos which should be appearing on screen right now or very shortly, which I've recorded recently. You might want to go have a look at those if you ain't watched them already. So thank you very much for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Favorite the video, share the video, do something with the video, all right? It's happening, I'm out.